Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm not here with Geeky Sparkles in this video, but she will be back tomorrow. We're going to talk about the biggest shocker of the week. That Resident Evil on Netflix has been canceled after only one season. Oh my God. Oh my God. Can you imagine? How could they? How could they cancel this very, very popular show? Uh, they did. It shouldn't surprise anybody. There were talks of it being canceled before uh, even premiere. People were like, this is, this is terrible. The show is awful. Uh, it's not going to do well. And sure enough, Netflix canceled it. They're trying to save some money and they're not going to throw money at shows that don't perform. We're going to talk a little bit about what it takes to actually get a season two on Netflix these days. There's there's some math involved, and that math involves uh, the cost of the show versus uh, you know the retention, the return on investment, uh, whether or not it's actually bringing people to the platform. And very few Netflix shows bring people to the platform uh, anymore. Let's be honest. So anyway, before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, hit the subscribe button. It does help the channel, helps the algorithm, uh, like and share, all that stuff. And if you want to help us further, if you like comics and you like uh, animation, check out Crimson Ren Volume 1 from Clownfish Studios. This is our first brand new Clownfish Studios project in quite a while. Uh, the Shadowbinders books were actually reprints from several years ago. This is the first new Belletier adventure in, oh my God, almost a decade. It's been about eight years, I guess. Uh, story by Geeky and myself, art by Jose Garcia. We've uh, cruised past 31000 Dollars. Thank you so much for that. And we still have 27 days left on the clock. So you guys have been amazing. Speaking of amazing, look at this art. Look at this art. Now, uh, I'm not holding my breath for the Netflix adaptation of Shadowbinders or Crimson Wren. And even if, if uh, we did get a Netflix offer, I, I think they'd want to make too many changes to it. So I think we'd probably have to pass. So this, this shows uh, Resident Evil and name only. Uh, it was kind of like a CW show from what I saw of it. I didn't sit through the whole thing. I did. I had. I have better things to do with my life than sit through a shitty Netflix adaptation of a game franchise that is beloved, that has established lore. Uh, you don't need to subject yourself to this, right? Um, but I did watch several clips on YouTube, and I'm like, my God. If you didn't tell me this was Resident Evil, I would have no idea. This was supposed to be Resident Evil. It's kind of like the difference between the uh, Super Mario Brothers movie you know, and a video game. I'm like, what the hell is going on here? Audiences hated it. 27%. Critics didn't like it that much either. 55%. It's now canceled. It now joins Cowboy Bebop at the bottom of the ocean. Uh, and again, it probably comes down to expense versus audience retention. I think a lot of people were hate watching this show. But yeah, it didn't didn't feel or look like Resident Evil. Of course, you know, we had some some places like The Gamer loved it. I saw two episodes of Netflix's Resident Evil, and it doesn't suck even a little bit. Uh, whereas Game Rants, like everything wrong, everything wrong with Netflix's Resident Evil series, and it goes on and on and on and on and on, uh, and it's gone. On and on and on, and now it's gone exclusive from Deadline. Netflix has opted not to order a second season of Resident Evil. Some people will say that's not canceled. They just didn't want to make any more. That's what that was the excuse for Shira. I love that when Shira was canceled. Shira wasn't canceled. They planned five seasons and they just opted not to make any more. And yeah, we've been we've been pushing for a sixth season, and even the showrunner wants a sixth season, but it's not actually canceled. It's not canceled. They're just not making any more. That's literally what canceled means. The action horror series loosely, loosely, even Deadline, man, loosely based on the popular video game franchise, the news which comes a month and a half after the series' July 14th release, is not entirely surprising as the drama did not have a particularly strong showing on Netflix's top 10 and cost versus viewing is the streamer's leading renewal criterion. I am thinking that uh, Sandman may not get a season two either. And I'll be honest, uh, I did watch a few episodes of The Sandman. I think I watched three. I want to say three episodes of it. It's not as bad as I expected it to be. They actually did put some money into it, but it's not great either. It's just another Netflix adaptation that could have been a hell of a lot worse, but it could have been a hell of a lot better too. And uh, I don't think it was really much of a, a, a blip on the radar. I think most people 
have forgotten about Sandman. It's definitely not as big as it was in the 90s, 80s and 90s. Um, and uh, there have been so many starts and stops with trying to get a, a movie or TV show made that I think people just stop caring. And then when they're like, oh, it's coming to Netflix, it's like, yeah, whatever, game over. Uh, game over. Before we get into this any further, though, let's talk about how Netflix decides to cancel or renew shows. It basically comes down to, are people watching it? Are people watching it? Are enough people watching it? Are they watching a lot of it? Are they watching it and, and noping out after two episodes? If, if they're not binging it, uh, it's probably a failure. You know, I think in some ways it's easier for movies because people are going to sit through the whole movie. But with a show and, you know, Netflix just drops the whole thing usually, you know, they're going to be like, did they watch two episodes or 10 episodes? You know, and if they're not watching all 10 episodes, apparently people don't care. And I think this is what happened with Cowboy Bebop. They made a huge, 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 huge deal about Cow Cowboy Bebop and they canceled it within what, like a week, a week of dropping it, something like that it was ridiculous. And I think they were looking at the numbers and they're like, oh my God, how much did we pay for this? And people are hate watching it or they're noping out after two or three episodes and, and that's it. And that one actually debuted, I think, at number one on their top 10 list. And they still canceled it because it was too damn expensive. That's why animation gets cut. It's too damn expensive. Now, you do have animated series like you know He-Man and stuff like that, but Mattel's helping foot the bill on it. We have another video coming uh, talking about you know, ad rates and, and all that jazz and how that factors into it. Um, this article is from what's on Netflix says, uh, Netflix has internal scores for programming. They have a ton of data at its disposal, allowing them to quickly determine whether a show earned back what it cost to make and no doubt see ahead of time whether a show will hit certain targets. Again, it could be like a week in and they're like, this thing is not getting traction. It's, it's dead in the water. And that's probably what happened to Resident Evil. People hate watched it. Uh, they laughed at it. They made fun of it. Uh, they didn't watch it. Didn't get good reviews. And they're they're done. You know, they're done. Um, so anyway, let's go back to this. Uh, running partly in the shadow of mega hit genre uh, or mega genre hit Stranger Things had nothing to do with it, which was released within the same time frame. Uh, a couple of weeks. Resident Evil debuted at number two with an okay 72 point million hours viewed. It did not deliver the big week two bump one would like to see for a new series as word of mouth spreads. Yes, word of mouth spread, just not the word of mouth they wanted. Breaking in 73.3 million hours viewed in its second week for a number three finish before dropping and falling out of the top 10 after only three weeks. 55% from critics and 27% from the audience. Uh, Netflix assembled a compelling, diverse cast for Resident Evil. Golly, gee willikers, that should have been enough to, to bring people in. You don't need to stick to the lore. You don't need to, to make a show that actually looks and feels like Resident Evil because you have a compelling, diverse cast. That should have been enough. We don't know what happened. We don't know what went wrong. We don't know what went wrong. But their goal is to work with them in the future. Yeah, you're not fired, guys. You're really, you're not fired. Um, Netflix has hits like Stranger Things, Arcane, The Witcher, Umbrella Academy, Shadow and Bone, Viking, Valhalla, Sweet Tooth, Black Mirror, and newest arrival, The Sandman, which has been a breakout and is expected to be renewed. Are they sure about that? I don't know. A lot of people aren't talking about it. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, like I said, I watched it. It was okay. But I, I don't I don't know if it's going to be renewed. Um, they have a bunch of other stuff. A bunch of other crap coming too. Oh yeah, and Avatar The Last Airbender. We can't forget about that. Uh, Resident Evil, which hails from showrunner Andrew Dabb, takes place in the year 2036, 14 years after deadly virus caused global apocalypse. Jade Wesker fights for survival in a world overrun by, by bloodthirsty infected and insane creatures, and they go to New Raccoon City, and her dad vaguely, re vaguely, vaguely resembles the villain in the games, and stuff happens, and it's like the CW, and now it's over. So that's basically it. It's cringy dialogue, cringy acting, uh, just another Netflix adaptation. It actually will be, I think, kind of the gold standard for what not to do in the future. This and Cowboy Bebop. Um, but there we go, guys. Canceled. Doesn't surprise me at all. Going to wrap it up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. We'll talk later.